Alright, welcome back. In order to write a C++ code, we can use either Nano Terminal Text Editor or Gedit Text Editor. So Gedit is a popular graphical user interface text editor in Ubuntu. So I'm going to open this text editor. You can access it by using show application button. You see that this is our Gedit text editor. But I'm not going to open from here because I would like to use terminal window. So control alt T to open our text editor. I'm just going to write G edit. But I don't want to open our text editor from here. I would like to open it from desktop. Therefore, I'm going to go to desktop directory, click enter. So now we are in the desktop directory and we are going to open text editor here. Write G edit and press enter. So as you see that our text editor is opened. Now in this text editor we are going to write a simple C++ code that prints a simple message like hello ROS or ROS or robot operating system. The very first thing is to include an iStream header file. So I'm just going to write include iostream. This header file is used for input and output functions. For example, it can take input from a keyboard or print a message. Since we are only using print function, the iostream will be enough for this program. So we don't need to any other libraries or header files. By the way, generally when you are writing C++ code, these written words can be in different colors. So right now it is plain text, therefore it shows only one color, black color, but you can change it to C++. Here you just click on it. As you see that the color is changed. Okay, now we should write a special feature namespace std, which is used in the iostream library. So I'm just going to write using namespace std and put semicolon. This feature simply allows us not to write std every time. So don't worry if you don't understand it right now because I will explain this namespace again in this code. Now we are going to write our main function. So in order to do that, just write int main two brackets and two here. In C or C++ and a few more programming languages, int main function is used as the entry level global function of the program. So main is the function from where the program will start to execute. Here int provides that the main function will return an integer value to the system which is executing the main. Therefore, at the end of this program, we need to write return zero. So let's write first return zero and put semicolon. And above that, we are going to write our code. As I said before, this program will just print a simple sentence. In this case, it will, it will be actually hello ROS. So in this code, we are going to use cout function. Let's write cout. And end. So in this code, cout is a function that outputs a character. If we didn't use this namespace std in the beginning of the R program, we need to mention std two dots. I mean, we need to write this code like that, std two dots. Because cout function is like related to this namespace and if you didn't use that, we need to write like that because this std two dots will access functions from this namespace. But we just use our namespace std, therefore I'm just going to delete this one. And this code is okay to print our sentence, I mean hello rs. The last thing is that we need to write the end function. So this just adds a new line after printing the message. Our message is hello rs. And this just adds a new line after this message. So program just read this 
code and then it will pass to this one and it means that after this code is executed the function the int main function will return zero and exits the program so let's save this file so in order to save that just click on this button and let's give a name so it will be hello ros dot c plus plus and click save as you see that this file is saved in our desktop okay let's close this window so i think that that's all all we need to do is compile our program so let's end this video here and compile our code in the next video all right that's all from my side if you like this video please click on the subscribe button bye see you in the next video